is a picnic shoulder, and it comes with its own fat pack. First task is to remove this. There you have it, my friends. We are going to take this and save it for later. Now we have to deal with the meat and separating out all of this bad fat and connective tissue from the yummy porky goodness of the porky swine flesh. This is a delicate procedure. I'll keep it nice and tight against the knife with my other hand. Let's take that shit off. Now I just see here one separate muscle here. And so what I'm going to do is try and separate it from the rest of the meat. Here's one little muscle. You see that? That's the stuff that gets in your sausage and turns into little pieces of rubber that you bite down on and you're like, Ew, what the hell is that? Well, that shit's coming off. See that? That does not belong in sausage. That is nasty. And that's going in garbage. And when you're done, you're left with Mr. Piggy's little knee bone. And it's going to keep those sausages nice and moist. Cut it in manageable pieces. I'm making a sawing motion. I have taken the pork and cut it into small cube-like pieces. I would say about two inches cube. It just makes it more manageable for my grinder. But with the fat, I cut them into like half inch cubes just so that they, I can uh, distribute the fat uh, very evenly throughout the meat. Sausage casing. These come packed in salt. You need to put them in cold water and put them in the fridge and leave them for you know, a good eight hours overnight. There are so many different things we can do right now. We can make sweet Italian sausage. We can make bratwurst. I'm going to make bratwurst, mainly nutmeg, marjoram, I'll put a little celery seed. I have about five pounds of meat and I have about one pound of pork uh, fat. I weighed it out and that actually comes out to around the right ratio of fat to meat. So now that I um, have seasoned the pork, I let it sit overnight along with the sausage casings, and now we are going to grind it. And I like to make sure that I put a piece of fat and a piece of pork together in so that I evenly distribute the fat and the pork, and there's not like one part that's like all fat and one part that's all pork. Meat wad. So now that I have fully ground pork, I am going to flatten it out into like a sheet and evenly distribute salt. I'm using kosher salt. I recommend you use that too. Meat sheet. I would start off with a tablespoon for like five pounds of meat. I mean, it's really six pounds altogether. And you want to really mix it together. I like meat. It's so neat. It's yummy and sweet. I like meat. Don't worry, my hands are clean. So, do you think I salted you enough? That I. Come on, meat! So, now that I've seasoned it, we have to taste it to make sure that we season to taste. 
I'm just kidding. Of course you can't taste raw meat. So we're going to cook a little patty. I just took a little bit here. I'd say this is about an ounce and a half of the mixture that we put together. Turn it into a little patty. I have a frying pan here with some oil in it. And let's see how it tastes. Need salt. Now because this meat is actually much leaner than the sausages that you would buy in the store, I like to oversalt it because I poach it first before I put put it on the grill or in a frying pan. And that way the salt that does escape uh, will be just fine because it'll still have enough salt in it for the flavors to really be pronounced and be one yummy delicious porky goodness of a sausage. Yum, 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 yum. I made them slightly a little bit over two feet each. Um, and I made a couple of them because that way you can uh, have one whole length of sausages just for like four sausages. And that way it's easier to manage when you're like, you know, linking them. And it's also easier to manage when you're cooking them because uh, you want them to be nice and securely tied up. And you also don't want to have to deal with like 12 sausages at a time. So that's why I do that. Run some cold water in the sink. Try and open it up a bit. See, that's where the meat's going to go. And then give it a rinse inside too. Give it a rinse. See? Look at that. Yeah! And there's some slippery suckers. Taking this, and I'm putting it over this cone thing. It's like a sausage stuffing cone. Whatever thing. I'm leaving like a couple of inches like that open. Use a sucker. This takes practice. Insert dirty joke here. Oh. Isn't that a lovely sight? First thing I'm going to do with this is tie off the end. Get to know your sausage. Love your sausage. Feel your sausage. Nice and tight. Okay. You want like a, what, a six, five, five or six inch sausage. This maybe, this. That's a good size, right? So, you should twirl it around at least five, you know, four or five times. I smell something porky and good. That's going to be a big one. And then we're left with the other end. And just do the same thing to this end that you did to the other end, but I would not recommend that you tie them both first before you start twirling it because you want some of the air to escape. Air bubbles are a sausage's worst enemy. Okay. I wouldn't want to poke my sausage by accident. That would be terrible. And there you have it, my friends.
if I could, I would eat myself. I am so delicious. <laughs>